Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Baber with you. And this is the Serum Beginners course. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about exactly uh, what are wavetables. So we have the basic shapes loaded on oscillator A. And you can see we've got the little sinusoidal uh, wave form here. And our wavetable position knob will let us scroll through all the different wavetables within the basic shapes. I believe there's seven here, it looks like, yeah. It says seven so and if we um, do the click out in the open here we can see the 3d view you can see that serum is allowing us to choose one of those seven as a form to work with a wavetable shape to work with we can also take a closer look at the actual wave itself if we go to menu show serum presets folder and then we go to wavetables, analog, and basic shapes. I'm going to drag the, they're just audio files, so I'm going to drag it over to the um, DAW here and let's take a look at it. Let me move Serum out of the way. I think I dropped that on the wrong channel. Excuse me. Let me open up a blank channel down here. Let's try that one more time. So we'll go to menu, presets folder tables, analog, basic shapes. I think it should work right there. There we go. All right, so let's zoom in here and take a closer look at the actual audio file for this uh, wavetable. And you can see there as we zoom in all the shapes that are available within that um, basic shapes audio file. So if we pick selection one, we'll get Serum to pretty much repeat this this shape and then so on and so forth. Each of the waveforms here, Serum will just repeat depending on which one we've selected. I just wanted you to see the audio form of it, kind of get a better image in your mind of what it is as a wavetable, all the different shapes that are associated with it. So let's go back to Serum. So it actually has, we've got seven in the basic shapes, but let's go pick something a little bit more complicated. I don't know for sure. Let me see what that one looks like. Yeah, so if you look at when I scroll up in the wavetable position, it's actually got 256 positions for us to work with. So as we scroll up and down through there, the you can hear the sound morph and change. Which brings up my point, it's kind of boring uh, if you just leave it static in one position, sound-wise. The excitement really comes in with wavetables, really comes in is when this is, uh, when this is being morphed or the wavetable position is changing. So one way to do that within Serum is to add an LFO. You grab the LFO, drop it over onto here, and then we can position it by grabbing the little blue marker there if we want more or less. So let's take a listen to see what that sounds like. Now the uh, LFO is just going to follow the shape that we have down here. We'll get into this in a little bit uh, later lessons, but just as a quick reference to show you like the difference in sound. And you see how it's being morphed between the uh, different wave shapes now. And that adds a little bit of movement and excitement to the sound as opposed to a static, straightforward uh, one, one shape. So let's see here. Let's take a look at this is Dull Toy in the digital. Let's take a look at that waveform as an audio file. Show Serum presets, tables, digital. I believe that was dull toy. So let's scroll down here, put it right under the other one. Dull toy. So we can see as a comparison, the basic shapes very basic as it it's the name implies. But if we zoom in on this dull toy, you can see kind of how 
how much variation is you know out of the 256 frames we have look how much variation is going through on that I mean that guy's really really getting complex as it uh, rolls through there so good example of basic shapes and something a little bit more dynamic or a little bit more complex so that is the general idea or basics behind wavetables and wave shapes let's move on to the next lesson and look at ways to edit these wavetables